And yep, looks like we're here already. Hey, does. Hey there, misters. Oh, there's Di or Who is that? What in the world? Oh, that's uh, Javier. Hey there. How you doing? What are you doing there, Javier? This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Hmm. I'm like, I'd do it. I don't care. Anyways, let's go see if we can go give a... Whatever it is, an appearance and that alligator snapping turtle and maybe even use it for crafting or something like that. Because I, I don't remember, like, what we might be able to use that for. Might be something hey worthwhile. There. I don't know. Hey there, Miss Grimshaw. Arthur, come up here. Yeah, uh, okay, I get it. I remember uh, back at whatever the last camp was. There you go. <laughs> I'd always go right back, right past Dutch's uh, tent, and he'd be like, Arthur! And then I'd walk away, and then like two seconds later, he's like, Okay, fine, I didn't need you anyways, or something like that. <laughs> anyways, donate for provisions. I think I can probably get some good money for it, but I've already got good money, so whatever. There you go. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Donate for provisions. Used in cooking? I don't care, sure. I'm probably gonna get comments like, that's the most rare thing in the universe, and you just hack it through it away. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Hey there, mister. Let's go upstairs and go talk to Dutch. Arthur! Come up here! Oh my god, okay, golly! Hi, Arthur. Hey there, Mary Beth. There she is. Yep. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm alright. Why? Yeah, just heckin' walking away right as I initiate a conversation. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Let's go see what Dutch has to say. Probably going to go do the bank job now, huh? I'm like, there's literally nothing else we could do except for, of course, go visit Flaco Hernandez, so might as well go do this, huh? Hey there, mister. Mr. Dutch. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About uh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. I didn't even get the choose right there. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Do we have the same horse? I think we do, don't we? Nah, he's a... Okay, follow me. I don't know, I'm not a horse expert, so I don't know, like, the... I'm like, it, it just physically looks like mine. It's like pure white. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank 
And Bronte has the police and just about everything oh. else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Golly. Drama alert memes happening in here. Sheesh. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. All right, let's go find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. <laughs> Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh, there they are. I see X's on them in the map. Is that indicating the crayfish traps or a dead body? Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. All right, search, search, search the traps. Looks like there's another one there on the top of the minimap. Nothing. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. <laughs> Mr. Dutch, 
You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. Gator. You too, Mr. Arthur. Gator right there. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Night folk? Nightman. I guess he's not going to search this one. I guess I'll do it. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, I got something. Oh, I got a grayfish. The sooner we get this done, the sooner I can help you boys. I just stole that from him. I did. Hey there, missed. Oh, Jesus, up to my chest. Golly. Night folk, is he going to tell us about it? Day man. Fighter of the night man. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Dinosaur right. Or <laughs> dinosaur. Alligator right there. Not necessarily wrong, am I? Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Yep. What is that? I thought I saw something on the top right. I don't even see this box. I'm like, it's so deep over here. It's up to our chest. I can only see this box. Where is it? Oh, jeez. It's going to pull it out of... Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. Uh, it happens. Ugh. Yep. Thomas. Help. Yeah, I knew I couldn't see that thing right there. Jeez. There you go. Oh, my Ooh. God. I guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this could wait. Let's go. Man, I, the visibility is so bad, you can barely see it. Oh, jeez. Hold up. Oh, there's like three of them. Golly. Stand absolutely still. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Come on. Alright, let's continue on. I need to use my lantern more often, but... Never really need to use it whenever we're hanging out in town and stuff. We really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Uh-oh. So we're just splitting two ways or three ways? Okay, yeah, it looks like they're splitting on the map there. Gotta make sure I don't get heckin' killed by an alligator, you guys. <laughs> Trying to keep my eyes peeled. Cover as much ground as possible. Or water, yeah, whatever you want to call it. See if there's anything wading through like a heckin' alligator. Yeah, they definitely split up back there, that's good. Cover more ground. Look for this, uh, jewels. Oh, wait, what in the world? Call out. Hey! Someone there? Jules! Look around for possibly a crashed boat or something like that. You never know. I wonder if his boat's going to be in a tree like that one we saw. No! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. What's that back there? Oh, that's like a weird shadow. Okay, I thought there was an alligator or something. Alright, I'm going to this island just because it's a little safe, I guess. Safer. I'm wading through the water. No, shop. Use! I have no idea where he could be. Hey! Someone there? So we'll just keep going straight, yeah. Guess a Dutch in them ain't found him yet either. Continue going up ahead, I suppose. About in the middle of this yellow splotch. Probably go to this island right here. Keep shouting. Jules! Hello! Hello! Oh! That must be him. Where is it? Where are they? Oh! He in a tree? Oh, there he is, right there. What in the world? I see his lantern. Here! Help! What is he? Hiding up there, back, back in that jewels. Let's go. Let's go. Where's his boat? In the tree! I, I know, I see you, I hear you. What are we going to do? Climb the tree? Over this way! Hey, you in the tree! What are you doing? There's a monster! A monster! You okay up there? There's a monster! Where? Master, it nearly ate me! Hey, where'd he go? It's, it's out there! What? A big gator! Biggest I ever saw! Big and nasty! Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here! You must be Jules! Yes! Where is the boat? Over there! I ran! I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Uh-oh, cannon. Alright, I don't know which way he was, uh, pointing to or where I, whatever, so. Alright, I'm going to get the boat. Rock the boat, baby. I got the skiff! It's over here! <laughs> Stuck! Dutch and them probably not going to be able to hear up, hear me. I'm way too far away. What in the world? There they are. Uh, I got it loose. Go. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh! Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. you got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. I hope it's just a myth, golly. My controller shook right there and it kind of spooked me. Oh, oh there we go. We're good. Uh oh. Whoa! Oh. Shit. He won't can. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick! Oh my god. Save jewels. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What am I going to do? I don't have anything other than, of course, a hunting knife and maybe a couple guns. Let me get my guns out. There we go. Let's go. We're in the work. Is that Jules right there? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I can barely see him in the background. Is there anything I could shoot? I'm running as fast as I can. Come here, son. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Uh oh. I use dead eye. I, I, er. Where'd he go? He was right here. He was right here. 
Watch out for jewels. Come on. He was right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put my guns up. I'm coming. Hey there, mister. Come here. Come here. I got you, son. You have two legs. Oh. God, no. Oh my god, let's go. Dutch! Shoot something! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, no. I'm looking. Please I'm looking. Hurry. Oh my god. Hurry. It's the heckin' thing from Amnesia. Oh, Fire off a couple no. of warning shots Please just to pretend hurt. you care. <laughs> I got you. Oh. Oh. Let's go, let's go! Hurry! Oh my god, we're still so far away. Hopefully he still has both his legs and it's just a wound. Oh my god, I'm almost out of stamina again. His leg hurt pretty bad. He should be okay. Get in! Seems like we're still fine, that's good. There he is. He's got his leg. Finish that son of a bitch, Arthur! Oh my god. Just hold on. It's, it's still right for us. It's coming right for us. Oh my god. Okay, forget that. It's still coming. Oh my god, that thing is <gasps> That thing is massive! That thing is heckin' huge! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh my god! I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. Give him a health cure. He'll be fine. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Fly the bandage. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There we go. Spin that around. And there's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I'm trying. Here you go. that? I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is it back? Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in I'm gonna have to eat some dead eye. There you go. Oh my god, I can't. Oh jeez, I can't mark it. Oh my god. It 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 won't let me mark it. Oh my god. Shit! Don't let him get any closer. Oh jeez! Oh! Okay! I think it's had enough! Now, Jesus, can we get back now? Whew. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic? Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well... What in the world was that supposed to happen? I feel like we might have missed something there. Just kind of skipped to this cutscene. Oh, now we're out in a camp. Okay, that was weird. Hey, we got gold. I wonder what we was it a guaranteed gold? Uh, shoot the bull gator. Return jewels to the skiff within one minute forty. Okay, well that I guess that wasn't too hard to get. I guess right. But hey, we got. 
hell is a business we had a gold? Hold on. Where do I check that progress? Or story. Oh my god, we're over halfway on the story, you guys. We're at 51%. Chapter 4. That's our first gold to chapter 4. Oh my gosh. What about chapter 3? When was the last time we got chapter... Or, uh, where's true love? Oh my god, that was really early on. Chapter 3. Oh my gosh. Jeez. The uh, love letter thing with Bo and uh, Penelope. That was the last time we got gold before that. Holy. And of course, we'd always go back and do more mission these uh, missions again and try and do better on them. And then before that was pouring forth oil, which was the steal the oil wagon and do the train robbery meme. Meow yeah, with John. Man, yeah, I'm like, I should at least. But the thing is, you don't, you don't know what you need to do until you actually finish the mission, so... It'd be nice if I was like, okay, you need to heck and do this, this, and this to get heck and gold on this, rather than, you know, doing the mission and then seeing, oh, I should have done that, I should have done that, I should have not done this, and then I would have gotten gold on it, you know, but whatever. Well, anyways, rest by fire, camp, cook, I guess we could camp and cook, just, you know, I'll probably have some random meat that needs cooking. Uh, show craftable. Yeah, we, okay, we can't do anything. Okay, whatever. Sleep? Sure, let's do it. Sleep until... Noon. Okay. That'll probably be fine. Might as well take use of the situation. But hey, I think we did a pretty good job there. We saved the kid. I, I wonder if he had a chance of actually dying if we didn't save him in time. That was kind of weird. We were able to mark the guy at the gator with dead art on dead eye. Or whatever you want to call it. Sheesh. The first time, but we weren't, weren't able to do it the second time. I don't know why, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. We passed a mission. No mission. No problem, though. Anyways, take the camp down. What in the world are you doing? Yeah, tear down camp. There we go. Yep. All right. Well, we've got the boat now. So I assume now we're ready to go. Uh, ambush back, the feller. Girl. Yep, I'm back. If only I had my heckin' guns out there. You know, my good guns, my Lancaster repeater, maybe even my semi-auto shotgun. How are my guns doing? In uh, oh my god. Holy! Oh, wait, that's double action. Why is that double action? Ranger's revolver. Sawed off. Midnight's pistol. Oh my god, this, this Schofield re revolver on the left is basically hanging dead. In a terrible condition. Uh, clean. Hopefully I have enough stuff. Look at how, look at how low the damage went. The fire rate, the reload went. Just because it's hanging dirty, you guys, golly. But I guess this is how our guns are going to look from now on. I've got the money. I could I definitely afford to convert all my previous guns to have this same look, you know, with like the pearl handle and the gold engraving and of course all black everything. So, eh, I like it. Maybe just guns from now on. That way our, our previous guns still have the character. And then guns from now on, eh, we could have like, I guess, different chapters of guns, I guess you could say, right? I could look at, uh, look at that rifle on our back and be like, okay, that's that's our chapter where we have mesquite and gold and black and steel. And then look at my current show. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. The Moin Raiders or something. Get these fellers here. Got him. I can't, I can't dead eye again. I need to reload. Now, who are these fellers that are shooting at me? That's what I want to know. Why do I only have one gun? Who are these fellers? I have no idea who these guys are. Martin really dislike this place. Uh oh. Uh, probably Angelo Bronte. Folk. I can only imagine. Let's go before they do a face reveal to us. Let's go. Put a mask on. Put a mask on. Let's go. Unknown suspects. Let's go. We've already got a really good bounty here, you guys. Why were those guys enemies for me though? I can only imagine they're guarding the entrance to San Denis because I'm not allowed there anymore. Anyways, they're investigating. We get a, we just, I don't know, go to the train station, try and pay off our bounty. And then we don't have to worry about bounty hunters anymore. Not like we were worrying about bounty hunters in the first place. Those weren't even bounty hunters. They should, they're just red dots on the mini map. If they were bounty hunters, they would have had a little, like, skull icon next to their, or inside of a red dot. But for some reason, they weren't. So I don't know what those guys were. I, I had to kill them for whatever reason. I feel like they might have tried to sabotage me, maybe blow up the bridge or something like that. I thought they were Lemoyne Raiders at first, but I guess not. They're dressed up a little bit too dapper for that. Well, anyways, I guess we got away scot-free there so I could take off my 
face hider, and I can do a face reveal for everyone. Did you guys get a good look at that hacking gator, though? That thing was hacking huge! Bull gator? Oh my god, 165. Is that in my compendium now? Can I read about that? I don't know if I can. I kinda wanna go check that sometime.